welcome back to my channel today uh, we'll start with orthodontics which is a very interesting subject so this is a very uh, basic video to introduce you to orthodontics so uh, what actually is orthodontics this question might be asked to you in viva in case you're not answering any of the questions but also you would like to know that according to the british society of orthodontics sorry for study of orthodontics includes the study of growth and development of face particularly the jaws and the body generally as influencing the position of teeth study of action and reaction of internal and external influence on development and preservation and correction of arrested and perverted development now uh, this is a very long definition and it also took me around five minutes to learn it but i will make it easier for you so first of all uh, as in uh, we progress in the in this series we will see that the first chapter we will discuss about is growth and development so it is basically the study of growth and development of face particularly the jaws and the body this is the first keywords that you must remember set of keywords now generally as influencing the position of teeth this is obvious second this is very important study of action and reaction of internal and external influence on the development and preservation basically dpc okay action reaction internal external all right so this is third dpc development preservation and correction of arrested and perverted development all right now uh, we will very commonly use the word mal occlusion now basically uh, we have a fair idea what is occlusion because we did teeth setting in second year of prostho pre prostho so mal occlusion is basically uh, abnormal uh, occlusion kind of for in layman terms so uh, usually if a person has mal occlusion so what will be the sequelae of mal occlusion first of all he will have a poor facial appearance these are basic common sense points that you can understand now uh, because it is mal occlusion suppose the tooth is buccally rotated or it is palatally rotated uh, stuff like that or uh, uh, or it is in a very uh, supra erupted position so there is more chance of plaque retention due to the plaque retention there is more chances of caries okay then there is uh, as i said more chances of plaque retention so there is a predisposition to periodontal diseases now uh, we will also uh, do perio as well i'll also make videos on perio so uh, to form a very basic understanding plaque is the basic local factor which leads to all the periodontal diseases most of the periodontal diseases whenever asked about a local factor for periodontal diseases always answer it as dental plaque all right then uh, suppose a person is having a poor facial appearance so he will also have a very uh, psychologically uh, disturbed state of mind psychologically or psychological disturbance then there is also a risk of trauma suppose a person has very proclined uh, anteriors now what is proclined is towards the outer side in layman language so uh, uh, suppose a ball hits him and he is more prone to having an injury on the upper anteriors all right so risk to trauma then obviously if the teeth are not in occlusion there will be abnormal function which function basically speech now as you move on further we will see that there are very uh, functional uh, relations uh, related to mal occlusion sometimes there is lisping of s all right i will uh, discuss it in other videos also uh, more properly deglutition respiration this is also very important i uh, will be discussing it then uh, there might be uh, tmj problems very important now this uh, will be basically due to the occlusal prematurities all right now um, we can also think of what are the aims of orthodontics why uh, is there a field aims of orthodontics for this you will be very often asked about a triad which is called as jackson's triad in viva so this is basically a complex or basically a triangle uh, formed by three main things okay so the first one being the structural balance then being the functional efficiency then being the aesthetic harmony 
you can remember it as S E F Cef. Okay. Uh, structural balance is mainly uh, maintained by the teeth, the dento, basically the dento alveolar uh, components, plus the soft tissue and the skeletal tissue. As I told earlier, abnormal function, so functional efficiency. So if it is uh, malocclusion is present, it will cause uh, the abnormal functioning of the somat stomatogonathic system. All right, uh, this is the basic thing. You must know the definition of orthodontics according to British society. Then the sequelae, which will become very obvious as we uh, go past many of the lectures of ortho, you'll be able to answer them very easily. They'll become very obvious to you. Now, uh, what is the scope of orthodontic treatment? Now, many of your friends must have undergone the orthodontic treatment. So... What does the uh, orthodontist actually do? So basically, as I told you, there are three main tissues that are involved. So the first one being the teeth, the second one being the bone, the third one being the muscles, facial muscles. All right. Now, orthodontist basically tries to move the bone into an ideal location by applying some forces. Bone, there are orthopedic appliances, very important. Orthodontic appliances. And for muscles, we have myofacial appliances all right the name suggests you everything they will act on the bone uh, just giving you a very rough idea um, in teeth there will be lesser force around 5 to 10 here it will be around uh, you can say 50 to 100 or sometimes even 200 all right uh, can be ranging to 300 as well myofacial appliances act on the muscles and influence the growth basically they act on buccinator muscle the masseter muscle all right we will discuss them further now uh, Further, what are the services offered by the orthodontist? This is not that important, but we have chapters on it and we will discuss them properly. So, preventive, interceptive, then we have corrective, then we have surgical. Alright, so uh, what comes in preventive? Preventive is basically the procedures that are undertaken prior to the onset. So, P, prior to the onset of mal occlusion, to onset of mal occlusion. Uh, basically, uh, there are many preventive like uh, counseling of the parents, space maintainers and uh, then interceptive. Interceptive is uh, basically uh, which is done to arrest or uh, basically to eliminate or reduce. To eliminate or reduce the severity of malocclusion at an early stage. All right. Then corrective malocclusion has happened. We will correct it. Surgical procedures basically they are taken in conjunction to the orthodontic treatment. Uh, basically, we use surgical orthodontics in patients who are adults uh, because we cannot use myofunctional appliances, sorry, myofacial, uh, also called as myofunctional appliances. Uh, we cannot uh, use myofunctional appliances in adults because, uh, uh, sorry, yeah, uh, neither uh, we can use myofunctional appliances in adults, we can't use orthopedic appliances in adults because the bone has lost the property of being remodeled and uh, thing. So, due to that reason, we can perform surgical orthodontics only in adults. We can also perform in uh, children. So, Orthopedic appliances can only be given to children, all right, because their uh, bone has still the potential for growth and development. All right, so this completes the, these are the services that are offered. So this completes the basic introduction. Um, it is interesting. It will become more interesting as we soon go on to all the other chapters. So I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Do share, subscribe to my channel and comment or what next videos you want to see. Thank you.